Yes, people. And today, I'm the show. So, yeah, anyway, what was I saying? Um, welcome to the uh, vlog again. Um, yeah, um, basically, I'm thinking that this is going to be like a little road trip video. Um, road trip? I don't know. I don't know where I'm going to film. I don't know what I'm going to film. I'm just going to... Wherever I feel to film, I'm going to film it. But this is definitely a video. It's going to be a short video, maybe five minutes. I don't know. Who knows? But the main point is, it's a vlog, so it doesn't matter. Enjoy the vlog, and people, make sure you like and subscribe to my channel. And um, yeah, that's it, boys and girls. We're out of here. Peace. So this is the first stage. Right? This is not even the plan of the video, to be honest. This is the graveyard where... I, did, I was about to say, I used to live in this graveyard, but I didn't. This is where... I used to live behind. I'll show you where I used to live in a minute. This is one graveyard that I want to check out in the night. Um, as you can see, it's like pretty much loud because you've got traffic, you've got all the roads there, look, next to them like that. So basically, that's how it is at the moment. Um, what can I say? So as you can see on the sign, this is St. Clement's Church. Thomas Slade, let's see what it says, natural ar naval architect. So. Died February 1771, buried in this graveyard. Okay, so it's his 250 anniversary. So this is just put another uh, perspective to my video. We can look for his gravestone if we can. Thomas Slade, let's see if we can find his uh, gravestone. Join me on this journey. So we're going in search of Thomas Slade. Thomas Slade's graveyard. Do you think it's this one over here? It could well be this one. You see the writing's all worn off and stuff. Guys, you're going to hear a lot of traffic, but if you do see anything in the video, oh, that's Alexandra somebody. If you do see anything in the video that I don't, let me know. This one is Alexandra Cummins, 1795 they died. Oh no, 1795 to 1851, there you go. You can see the date just about there somewhere, 1705. You can see the 1851 at the bottom there. Wow. It's quite a long time to live, really. That's what a gravestone would have looked like during the Georgian times, 1700s. There you go. That's the closest bit of um, history to the 1700s that you get right there. So I must admit, Thomas Slade gravestone might be a little bit hard to find. I mean, I don't really, I have time, but I don't really want to be here too long, if that makes sense. So it could be any one of these gravestones. So we're going to check around here, that middle one there, and then we're going to, yeah, we're going to just have a look here. So I'll be back in a second. I'm thinking that most of these are like 1700s, like I don't even want to walk over the gravestone, but... Um, what's that, March 22nd, 1825, okay. Oh, right, they died in 1825. You've got one over there called John Pitcher. So you notice all these gravestones, like Victorian and before. So the, the latest, the earliest one we've seen is 1709, was it 1771? I don't know if this church actually does anything you can't really see in there to be honest but uh, it's got its clock always goes off in there uh, clocks always going off in the uh, on the hour or the 15 minute and a half hour mark as you go look there you go normally it stops for the winter and starts back in spring well you just heard the uh, clock go off then can we go in here anybody in there no, look at the size of that door. That door must be original as well, look. Yeah, like I said, if you um, listen to this video with headphones, you're going to hear a lot of noise in traffic, so it'll be probably better if you... If you're going to analyse this video, you might do, do it properly. Right, we're going to take one more journey. I, I don't really want to be looking around for a certain graveyard, but we're going to take a little trip round here. This one, Mary Ann Watson. Watson or Watson? Um, the year 1859 or 1839 I can see there it's pretty sad though look at the size of that gravestone man it's got sacred written on it as well blimey to be honest I'm not really sure we're going to find this one um, I'll know his name when I see it this is one I always noticed, used to look at when I get around here look Curtis Plum, Plum Plumber you see Curtis there but I don't know about anything else so I really, 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 really the stupid beer cans down there. Bloody hell. I really don't know where the guy's buried. We'll come back here one day, come back, excuse me, we'll do a video. And we'll make that video about searching for his gravestone, because I'm sure that it's easy to find. But basically, I think I've probably gone past it. This is, if anyone's, this is the gravestone that I thought it might be. This one here. I'm only thinking that this could be this one, because it's like... 
There's this one and the other one we looked at around the corner, but this is more suited to him, look, as you can see. Oh, it says Elizabeth, so you, and it says sacred on there as well of the angels. I don't think that's his. Then we get round to the uh, entrance again. This is the main entrance to the church, but no one seems to uh, live in this church or use it. Live in there? <laughs> We're just going to end doing the uh, back round to where we started. I'm going to just show you this little memorial. Then I want to try one more thing. His name was Thomas Slade, so we're going to look for Thomas Slade. I doubt I'll find it, but let's have a look here. Oh, here he is. Thomas Slade. Well, so he's buried right under this. So I'm basically s sitting on top of him or standing on him. This spot lies buried Sir Thomas Slade. Died 1771, sometime surveyor for the Navy who in the capacity was responsible for the design of... Oh, wow. His wife Hannah lies with his parents in the tomb to be seen next to the West Boundary Churchyard. That would be the West Boundary Churchyard just over there. Oh, wow. And this is what the guy would have looked like. Well, sort of thing anyway. I don't want to rip it off, but yeah. Yeah, people, you done know Red Cartel. We found a gravestone at the end for Thomas Slade, which is around the part where I started. Um, yeah, so basically, we're going to come back and do a night investigation here, definitely. But you have to bear in mind this traffic. There's always going to be traffic all night long, but at night time, it's more settled down. So, I will see you guys in the next video. Um, look out for the Alexandra Park daytime video investigation as well. Um, check that out on YouTube, Real Red Cartel, 46 Vivo. Like and subscribe, share, bell icon, all of that stings. But for right now, we'll say peace and respect. Boom.